What's up everybody? Oxidized bringing you another corrupted dungeons build. This is gonna be a fun one. We have four jammers. Yeah, something a weapon you probably haven't seen yet. But I'm a huge fan, a huge fan of four jammers in a 1v1 scenario. So let's get into the, let's get into the build. Let me show you a little thing or two. Maybe, maybe, maybe even a little bit of a meta shift, possibly. I don't know. Someone also mentioned a tomb hammer as well as an option but we haven't gotten into that yet so but maybe maybe we'll see but anyway how we're gonna do this build is four chambers you're gonna go with the iron breaker which allows you to reduce resistances and deal damage instantly with a five second cooldown we also can go slowing charge the slowing charge is meant for mobility and also giving a slow to your enemy i thought this was really good compared to everything else um and nursery ring i was told also really really good because it kind of like it kind of like traps them in like a little rodent but i would rather go with slowing charge for a lot of different reasons it lets you escape that's the biggest one because th they, they can uh they can they can still leave this but this lets you run away pretty much the giant steps makes you huge for 10 seconds increases physical and magical resistances and it gives you extra damage on your normal attacks and range and also slowing enemies in a radius around you by 50 percent can't be purged okay that's the biggest thing it can't be purged so you are free to use this even against uh mage robes very exciting stuff also the stunning attacks for every five normal attacks good it could be huge it could, it could make them stutter step uh interrupt spell casting etc etc guardian helmet for the emergency heal uh mainly just because it's it's extra sustain i like me some guardian helmet and also gets rid of dot's so you're gonna have a good better time against any type of axes or cursed uh stabs purging shield for the purge we have the assassin shoes for the refreshing sprint which to me is also really good for mobility and getting your cooldowns back uh extra damage and the biggest part of this is the morgana cape when you activate your e so when we activate our forge hammers e we get we get increased cast and attack speed by 50 percent for eight seconds so not only do we get extra damage we also get extra attack speed which is going to be just absolutely massive so let's go ahead and jump on into this if i also remember correctly the uh this also has really good pve potentials which i think we'll go, we'll go we'll go that for pve and then move over this for pvp and get that ready also healing potions um so first and foremost i'm just gonna just tell you straight up uh, i have joined a new guild not only have i joined a new guild i have officially made a new guild yes test tickles that is the new guild the new official oxidized guild okay and uh yeah i'm really excited to make it we, we we chose the name on stream we voted for it it was it was between that or pythons so we do have a pythons as our symbol also you know the 20 two inch pythons baby it, it, it just made sense right it just made a lot of sense test tickles if you say it really fast you'll get it and it's also because it's the essence the absolute essence of uh testosterone you know what i mean it's, it's where it all comes from so um important on the important thing on this build is that you do not want to use your e prior to engagement wow uh tough uh, tough fight that's a fight that you tough fight this right here is a this right here is a hard combo either way no matter how you look that's a hard combo you don't want to use your e because you don't want to get the uh, the morgana cape on cooldown just in case you get invaded or it's time to invade so uh dodge your e pretty much the entire time and just use your q and w eh, it's not not too bad maybe, maybe maybe if i dodge more attacks we'd probably do better There we go. I'm actually like paying attention. Yeah, who would have thought paying attention would have uh, would, would, would have done me well there? Well, you know, I, I think my biggest issue when I do a lot of PvP stuff. No, I pressed my E. I it was my finger slipped. No, dude. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully we don't get anything in, in two minutes. We we have we have two minutes. If you get something in two minutes, it might be an issue. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the game has a soul. Hopefully the game has a heart. And it's not gonna happen, huh? Huh? Uh, I used to do. I used to use four chambers back in the day. They, they used to call me the uh, the badass blacksmith because I would uh, dual wield hammers. These four chambers, like this, the true dual wielding weapon in this game. And uh, I would I would do dungeon diving with them. And I gotta be honest with you. And I don't know. Maybe it's because it was it was the surprise of the dive. But uh, they did really really well on the dungeon dives. So I'm really hoping that kind of translates uh, into into corrupted dungeons in the 1v1 situation because you mean i mean now dungeon diving is dead dungeon diving is uh i mean not dead dead but it's like 95 percent dead it is very hard to do due to the constraints that they 
that we now have on the uh, the 90 second cooldown timers right which is i don't you know honestly i i don't know how i feel about it i think black zone should be a little bit less safe you know i made a video about it and i'm glad for new players that it's happening i'm pretty sure people said it's like hey don't don't say that don't give them any ideas i mean i'm i'm, I'm, I'm being real with you though i'm being I'm being true i think you know i think maybe three minutes for black zones and 90 seconds for across the board might be a little bit better honestly i think that might be way more beneficial uh just 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 to kind of keep that hardcore experience you know you know I me mean? i'm all about the hardcore experience brother okay uh where are we at about six minutes deep i think we're going to cut it here and then i will cut to when we get to a couple of pvp actions eh? hope it uh hope you're excited i know i am oh alrighty then so we're gonna go ahead, get, go ahead and get over here it's gonna be a good one boys I, i'm feeling pretty confident i don't know how well we were gonna do against like crossbow and stuff luckily they did recently get nerfed so that is a bonus on our end uh don't ever forget to eat your stew by the way it's going to be play a huge part um also something we should be probably concerned about a little bit is one-handed dagger just because it's a it's a really annoying fight however we do have a couple of ways to get away from them and also we do have increased resistances with our e as well so let's see how that goes oh he's right behind us oh oh he's a little bit closer than anticipated okay so the real challenge is going to be to understand when to use the e perfectly so um honestly we i think we're going to let him it's eggs oh my god it's eggs all right so now i think we want to use it where did, where did he go where did, oh well played oh no there we go all right, so now so now we need to run away a little bit. Black hands, man, anti melee. It's tough. It's a tough fight. We're doing okay though. We do have our E back up. Oh, well, that should be pretty good for us. Oh, uh, it, it's a little unfortunate though, because we 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 don't have our, uh, our our Morgana cape there. So that was a little bit tough. Uh, him, I, you know, him realizing how, oh, how did I die, by the way? What the hell? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Redemption time. So the last time, um, I'm going to show you this. I'll show you the other guy's build once we're uh, in, a, in a safe place that we can. So the other guy. I didn't realize this. He was using black hands with an assassin jacket, which isn't the typical, but it got my ass because when I popped my E, he pretty much did not let me use my E against him with my Morgana cape, which is kind of the combo. It's definitely more of a combo build. Um, so since he did that, was, you know, you, you, you gotta give credit where credit's due, son of a bitch. Uh, so hopefully this one goes a little bit better. Hopefully just, just a tad bit, just, just, a, just a little bit better is all we're asking for here. Go ahead and come on there we go <clears throat> so we have an invader uh i do feel confident that we're gonna win this there he is to the, to the bottom left over here we got one-handed dagger huh how do you bait this probably pretty good yeah yeah that, yeah, that was that was really good so now, so now he's gonna run away and reset, like a little bit of a bitch. Wow, 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 wow! He's actually just gonna reset right now. Come on, dude! I, I, is, is this a game he's gonna play the entire time? If that's the case, maybe we save our refreshing sprint for when we try to chase him, and then uh, we try to use our W instead. We don't want to pop our E until we know we have him. What an annoying ass like set of traps right here. Ah, uh, okay. One in the dagger. I guess he's. I guess he's just running away now. I know Demon Cape is the new hot fire. People are just all over that. Uh, or not not Demon Cape. The the, the Demon Helm, which like silences enemies. Like the one in the dagger. They've been all over it. So I guess he's just gonna sit. He's just gonna wait and wait and reset. So 
I'll try to cut this up to be the most entertaining possible. But right now, we have the most rat of rats trying to beat me right now. Like an absolute piece of garbage, basically. Okay, all right. We have contact once again. We have contact. Oh, this works out. Ah, damn, 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 damn. What does he have? He has run on? Are you kidding me? It's okay. All right. Oh, well, I guess we'll just reset again. Woo! Yay, resetting. Fun. But luckily, he doesn't have his either, which is nice. Oh. Oh, no. Now what are you going to do, brother? Oh, no. Now what are you going to do? Come on. Oh, this is going to be the most annoying fight in the world, isn't it? So he has run on. Okay. Okay, well, how about how about we change the run as well because it sounds like we're gonna need it I'm not in combat anymore though All right, okay, it's gonna be one of those games brother. It's gonna be one of those ones, huh? It's gonna be one of those ones Come on, where are you going? Oh. All right, all right, all right. reset, reset, reset. It's it, it's it's going to be a long one, dude. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a long ass fight here. We do have our W back up, which is nice. Just like that. Oh. Now we run. All right, he's he's good. Yes, there we go. Now we're getting some damage off on him. Oh, come on. What a freaking play, dude. All right, all right, all right. We need to reset. We need to reset. Okay, 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 okay. A little bit of a chess game. A little bit of a 200 IQ player here. Interesting. Oh, he was so close. All right, now, now, now we turn. Now we turn. Oh, come on. Come on, we have him on the ropes, baby. We have him on the ropes, baby. Come on. I, 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 I'm pretty sure you have to keep up the pressure here. Oh, we, oh, I can't believe it. No. So, uh, I think today we have learned that forge hammers do in fact not go from an okay dungeon diving weapon to 1v1 crypto. Now we know, now for all the ones who were wondering, all the ones who were curious as to what if, if forge hammers were going to be viable or not inside of corrupted dungeons. I think the answer might be a little bit on the no side. We were pretty close there. Um, I guess I made a mistake chasing him uh, in that situation. I don't know, man. That was... One-handed dagger is still pretty toxic. Everybody, it, it, we, we could just throw that away outside of the window. That'd be that'd be quite nice. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, try to try to find you some uh, some some testicles here. Go to guild, search by English, search by beginner, and hopefully you can find me there. And don't be afraid to join. Come on in, and we're out of here, guys. See y'all later.